doing? How you doing? How you doing? Yeah. Hey. How are you doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is the deliberate life stream. <laughs> which happens around about this time every single morning, usually, well, or afternoon or evening, depends on where you are on the planet, of course. I am Rosemary Nonny Knight, and as always, it's a pleasure to hang out with you, or RNK for short. Woohoo! Okay, so this is it. Are you allowed to want what you want? I was listening this morning to a one of these spiritual teachers, a well-known one, okay, a well-known spiritual teacher who was kind of teaching on a particular topic which has always given me a little bit of trouble well it used to give me a lot of trouble actually and, <laughs> and then i learned i learned some things which i want to share with you because one of the things that i see that happens with people who consider their spirituality to be very important is the fact that you start to believe you're not allowed to have the things that you desire that somehow your higher power or your whatever, you know, your source, whatever, doesn't actually want you to have the stuff that you want. And so then you start, there's conflict inside of you. There's conflict inside of you because you're not sure that you're allowed to go after the things that you want. Hello, Sonia, how are you doing? Lovely to have you on here, okay? Just sharing this at the same time as talking to you, so excuse me if I sound a little bit <laughs> shaky. It's because I'm trying to do two things at once, which is never a great idea, <laughs> okay? But anyway, um, there's this, and for me, it was such a big thing. I used to feel really proud, really prideful, for a very long time, I've always been spiritual, okay, since f before I can remember, I've always longed for this deep relationship with spirit, whatever that would look like. And I, and, and because of that, because I, re because for me always, that connection, that intimate connection with spirit is more important to me than anything else. And so in my mind, because I was being taught from the front, or at least that's what I was taking on, I'm not sure that I was necessarily always taught it, but it, it was what... I don't know where I got this conditioning from, but there was this conditioning that felt as though if I want something, then I can't have it. <laughs> if I want it, then it must be bad. I have to sacrifice my desires and my, my wants and give them up because absolutely no way would spirit of God want me to have that. And so there was this conflict inside of me. I wanted what I wanted, but I didn't think I could have it because I didn't think that spirit would allow me to have it which was kind of crazy. It's kind of crazy now to think about it, but I know that lots of people still feel that way. There's sometimes this feeling that you have to, you have to give up your desires, that you're not allowed to want what you want. And there's a lot of people that propagate this. And it's almost like the spiritual way of doing things. And I really want to attack that way of thinking. I really want to attack that way of thinking because it means that you're always fighting yourself this is what i need you to know your true desires your true desires they were planted in you you were created with them for a reason and when you allow yourself to remember who you are and instead of looking at just the surface desire Okay. Instead of just looking at the surface desire and deciding that you must be selfish and of course you can't have what you want. How dare you think that you can? I don't know why we got where we all got this idea from that, you know, the, the only things that we're allowed to want are things that we don't really want, basically, which I don't know where we got this idea. But I know for me, that was when you really think about what you're saying to yourself, that's actually what you're saying, that you're not allowed to want what you actually want. But for some reason, you think your higher power, and this is not always conscious, okay, that somehow you think that your higher power will always want for you what you don't want for yourself. And I want to attack that idea. This is what I believe, okay? Delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. And I tell you this, okay, regardless of what your religious take is on this, okay, when I say delight yourself in the Lord, I mean delight yourself in the inner man, in your source, in that wisdom inside of you, and you will receive the desires of your heart. Why? Because those desires were planted in you in the first place. <laughs> 
they're not they're not just you being selfish and because you want something doesn't mean that you can't have it do you see what i mean here do you see what i'm saying to you here because for me that was my struggle for such a long time this thought that if i wanted it then it must mean that i'm being unholy in some way so if i wanted it i couldn't have it it's just kind of crazy and when you're when you're coming from that point of view you'll struggle to progress in life. You'll struggle to create a life of calling and purpose because there'll be a part of you that is always thinking, if I really want this thing, then of course I'm not allowed to have it. And for us spiritual people, our longing is to be, you know, spiritual, to be connected to source. And we don't want to do something that we think is in some way evil or bad. And so you might be having desires to create wealth for you and your family. And you also want to impact lots of other people, but you forget about that. You, you only think, oh, it's just for my own selfish needs. And so I can't have that. And I listened, I was listening to this, this teacher this morning, and I could see how people would come away with that idea that somehow it is wrong for them to want the things that they want. And it's not true. Your true desires were planted in you. I'll say this over and over again. Actually, the purpose of your life is going to be linked to the thing that you want to do. It's going to be linked to the stuff that you want to have. It's going to be linked to the stuff that you want to be. You're going to get excited by the life that you are created to live. You know, your, your higher power is not trying to make your life be boring and horrible. It is conditioning that makes your life be boring and horrible. And you don't need to accept a boring and, okay, I just have to do this kind of life. I really hope I'm getting my message across here because I don't know if I'm explaining it well enough. But I want you to listen into what you are telling yourself that you're allowed to have. Because I see so many spiritual people holding back from actually going after the thing that they desire because they somehow think it is selfish or it's not spiritual enough to go after the thing they actually want. And so then they start trying to go after things they don't actually want and wonder why they're not excited about doing it or going after it or getting it. Of course you're not. It's not what you want. You don't want it. You think that your higher power wants you to have it, that you have to want it. No, you don't. The thing you want is actually the thing your higher power wants for you. <laughs> Do you get that? Do you get that? It's okay to want what you want. It's okay to go after what you want. It's okay to receive all that you want. It's okay not to settle for less than every single thing that you want. You have to really get this inside of you because if not, you'll always be at cross purposes with your own awesome self. You'll always be fighting your own self thinking that you're not allowed to have what you want. You are. The deliberate life is about abundance, fulfillment and freedom. You're never going to be fulfilled if you don't allow yourself to go after the things that you want. Stop telling yourself that it's selfish. Stop looking for another word for the, from the Lord, another sign from the heavens to allow you to go after the things that you desire. Start going after them. Start asking. Instead of asking, am I allowed to want this? Can I have this? Please, can I have this? Please, can I have this? Instead of saying that, instead of praying that prayer, pray, what is the best thing I can do next to bring my vision to life? That is a more pointful question then oh please can i am i allowed can i i'm not sure can, can you give me another sign please can you just show me that it's, it's okay for me to want this no no begging or pleading anymore own what you want own the fact that you are created with that desire in mind own the fact that as you live to your true design we actually do change the world okay because sometimes it sounds as if the desires in your heart are too mercenary and too shallow compared to what is happening in the world you look at the world you see people die you see people this and that happening and you think to yourself well the things that i want are just too shallow i don't ah, that, how can i be thinking about what i want when this world is dying you need to think about what you want if you want to change the world. Literally, you need to think about what you want, okay? Because that's the only way that you're going to make a difference on the planet. It's actually by living to your true design, by doing the things that you actually want to do, by being the person you want to be, by having the things that you want to have. How else are you going to change anything? By being something you don't want to be, seriously. 
I don't know why we buy into this stuff, but we do. If we are going to impact the world for good, it's going to come from a place of being who we are. That is how it's going to change. That is how we're going to change things. You can never change anything by trying desperately to be something that you're not. Because you think your higher power told you that you have to do things that you don't want to do. That's nonsense and that's conditioning that we need to shake. Honey, you are here with a particular design, with a particular um, thing that you want to do, and it is linked to your desires. I, I went so long, a lot of my life was spent feeling that the things I really wanted, I wasn't allowed to have that it was mercenary and I was proud and prideful and that God would punish me for the things I did. And so I didn't pursue them. I kept begging and pleading with God to, oh, please, I don't know. I'm not sure. Oh, I don't know. And he's like, you know what? Spirit stops talking to you when you stop listening. <laughs> okay. Spirit stops talking when you stop listening. If he's already said, if you've already been told, if you've already been given intuitive nudges to do a certain thing, and instead of just getting on and doing it in faith and trust, you are busy begging and pleading, am I sure? I don't know if I'm allowed. I don't know if I can do this. Oh my gosh. Then you, you stop hearing anything because you already know what to do. You're just scared because it seems too shallow or it seems too easy that you get to live the life you actually want to live. You think it has to be some something, something, some horrible existence and you have to be sacrificial. And unless you're sacrificing everything, then somehow, <laughs> then it's not holy enough. It's not spiritual enough or something. I don't know. We get in our own way, we spiritual people sometimes. We really do. We just think that, I don't know. I don't know what we think, but this is it. Just own what you want. Own the actual vision you carry inside of you. And don't settle for some, you th some holier than thou vision because you think that makes you worthy. No, if you do really truly want to impact the world, if you look at the world and you see things happening and you don't like them, then take full responsibility for building a life around your desires because they were planted in you. Ask for support from higher power, from your intuition. What is the next step for me to bring my vision to life? Just stop, stop distrusting yourself. Stop distrusting the, the vision inside of you and start trusting it. Start trusting that actually that vision is yours and yours alone to create. And it's only as you do that, that you live to your true design, that you then start to impact the world for good. Whilst you try to be other things, whilst you, you tell yourself that what you want is just not good enough or not holy enough or not spiritual enough, honey, you are halting the progression of this planet, literally. So take responsibility for your own happiness because as you live happy, as you live happy, as you live to your true design, that is how you impact the world. That is how you change things in the world. We don't need any more holier than thou spiritual people who think they're doing us a favor, basically, <laughs> by, by doing who knows what. We don't need those people. We need people who are actually happy because you're living to your true design. And your true design is actually what you want to do. Okay? It's what you want to have. It's what you want to be. So I call you onto the deliberate life path where you do do whatever is necessary to actually bring your desires to life. You stop trying to look for some other, I don't know what you think is better than your own desire thing. That's just crazy. You start actually looking at what you desire and you refuse to settle for less than all that you desire, knowing that as you live to all of your desires, you will change the world. I know you've been taught that people are selfish and people are evil. And if we just leave us, if we leave ourselves to go after what we want, then we'll always do the wrong thing. No, no, it's a lie. Okay. It's a lie. You are created in the image and the likeness of the divine. It is a lie that you will only ever do wrong things and evil things. It's a lie. Okay, you, the, the desires in your heart are yours to create. 
And as you create them, you change the world around you for the better. As you actually tap into the things in your heart to do, you change the world for the better. So give up any idea that you have to be anything other than you and choose instead to live to your true design. Okay? That is the deliberate life. The deliberate life of abundance, of fulfillment, of freedom, and of love. Okay? You want that life, so stop fighting it. Stop believing the lies and the conditioning that you've been subject to for too long and make the choice to transition to a life of your own true design. And if you are interested, if what I've just said has spoken to you and you do not have my book, Pray, Affirm, Receive, then you need to go get it, okay? It is at Rosemary Nonny Night. I keep getting emails actually from people saying, oh my gosh, thank you for this book, especially <clears throat> this time of year. It depends on when you're listening to this, of course. But this time of year, people are saying, hey, oh, I was praying and asking what to do coming, going forward. And, and I read your book and oh my gosh, it was exactly what I needed to hear. So go get the book if you do not have it. Actually read it or listen to it. I've even done an audio version for you. It's called Pray, Affirm, Receive, How to Get Clear, Stay Clear, and Take Action to Get What You Want Out of Life, okay? Because I truly believe that what you desire is actually what will change the world for the better. Because there is no mistake about you being here. Please hear me when I say this. Stop buying into the nonsense, Stop buying into the nonsense. Stop giving up your true desires because you think in some way that there's some other better way. That is the better way, <laughs> okay? Okay, go get the book. It's Prayer Firm Receive, um, How to Get Clear, Stay Clear, and Take Action to Get What You Desire Out of Life. And also share this with someone else. Share this with somebody else. Um, tag somebody in or share this because people need to hear this, okay? We, the deliberate people, we, the spiritual mavericks, we need to rise up and start living to our true design because that is how we change the world, okay? The world does need us to wake up. So please take full responsibility for living to your true design and stop buying into the nonsense that somehow you are less than or that your, your desires are less worthy. It is a lie, okay? It is a lie. It's time for you to transition to the truth. Wake up to your true design. Okay. Enough from me this morning. I'm going to stop there. <sighs> Share this. Get the book. Let us move forward together, choosing to live to our fullness, knowing that we are called and born to be more and to change things. First and foremost, we change. We, we, we don't change ourselves. We remember who we are. First and foremost, we remember who we are and then we start living to that true design. And as a result, we change the world around us for the better. Much amazing love. Much amazing love. Until the next time, my honeys. Bye. <laughs>